Shani is in court to claim £2,000 for the value of her car, which she asked her father to sell, but he has kept for himself. Defendant Carl disputes owing this amount and says, as he has allowed her to live with him rent-free in lieu of repayment, he owes nothing. Now, do I have it? Charnay. Do I have Charnay here? Yeah. And Carl, correct? Yes. You're her father, aren't you? That's correct. Very young. <laughs> you look very young indeed, sir. Talk slow, talk slow. Sorry? Uh, we don't get compliments often, so we say talk slow, so it lasts longer. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> and do you find a lot of people in your personal life say, please, please do it slower so it lasts longer? <laughs> Time to time. Time to time. <laughs> now, I'm going to start with Dad for a second. Let's call him Dad, shall we? I've read your response, Carl, and one of the things that you leave out is something terribly important, which is something rather special about Charnay. You must be enormously proud of her, correct? Yes, I am. On a scale of one to very proud, very proud being a ten, where would you put it? Um, very proud. Ten. Yes, ten. It took you a while. And you're right to be, because, Shone, you're a student, correct? Yes. And how long have you been a student? What are you studying? I'm studying psychology and I'm in my final year. Yes, but, madam, you're not just in your final year studying psychology. Lots of people show up to get an ology, you understand. <laughs> you've also explored the world. And you've, you've done that in a way which I know a little bit about. You applied to the Erasmus course, correct? Yeah. Can you explain to me what the Erasmus course is? So you can um, travel to different unis around the world. So yes, but you don't just show up. This no. is not a package trip. What do you go and do? To study and you can um, learn the language, integrate into the society of whichever country you choose to move to. Extraordinary, correct? Very. You could have chosen anywhere in the world. Where exactly did you choose, please, Charnay? So I went to the Netherlands. Yes, I know you went to the Netherlands, but what particular city? Um, I lived in Nijmegen and Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Now, you see, when I get people in my show and I say, why did you go to Amsterdam? And the answer to that question is usually as follows. <laughs> <laughs> in your case, it was to learn the language, correct? Yes. Yeah. Because it's one of a number of languages you speak. What are they? Um, English, Spanish, French, Portuguese and Dutch. And I'm conversational in Italian. So... Oh, you're marvellous, Sharon. <laughs> I like polyglots. Now, the point is this. When you were away, one of the things that you realised you needed to do was to have money when you got back, correct? Yeah. And because you're a student, you hadn't saved a fortune, right? Mm. But you had a little nest egg in the form of property. What was that property? So I had a car before I moved abroad. What car was it, please, madam? A Renault Megane. Now, what was the value of it? I bought it for £2,300. Now, your grandma had given you the money, correct? Yes. Now, who'd saved up the money, you or grandma? My grandma had saved up money for me from the day I was born, weekly. I saved £1 every week. And latterly for Shani, since she was born, I gave this to her when she was 20 years old. Shana used this money for driving lessons, insurance, and to buy the car. And she says she wasn't happy when she wanted to sell the car. But at the time, she was out of the country in Jamaica, correct? Yes? Now, she may not have been happy, but you weren't using that money for a moronic purpose, quite the contrary. For more Judge Rinda cases, click here. And if you've got a legal issue yourself, get in touch with us by clicking over here.